What's going on, gun tubers? Welcome back. Hope everybody had an excellent Christmas, holidays. We are approaching the end of 2018, and 2019 is rolling in. Happy New Year to you. It's coming up. So today I am going to replace the batteries on my friend's Viridian R5. This is a green dot laser for MMP shield and her batteries died. She does like this laser quite a bit. So I told her, hey, just bring it over. I'll get it, get it going for you. So <clears throat> it does take CR1 slash 3N batteries. These are actually made by Viridian. Some other companies make some too. And I've read uh, from, from some folks in forums and stuff that you got to peel these off to get them to work sometimes. So we're going to try to avoid that because I have uh, heard from other folks that know about a lot about batteries, especially the larger, like 18650s, they get hot. Uh, these, these are on there for a reason. And uh, this will keep it from leaking and uh, potentially <clears throat> burning out quicker and, and blowing up on you and all that good stuff. So we're going to try to avoid that today. So now this, this guy takes T6 style, um, uh, a style tool, kind of like an Allen star key, uh, but it's very small. I have some T tools, but nothing that small. So what I uh, have found a little trick is if you take a flathead, just a flathead that's a good, you know, perfect fit for that. It'll work just as well. So we're going to use this flathead. That way I don't have to order tools, special, a special tool for this. And I, yeah, as you could tell, I already took it off the pistol and took the batteries out and stuff. And ordered these guys off Amazon because they're very hard to find. I, they, might fi they might sell them in battery stores, but I didn't see them at Walmart or anything. So we got this guy taken apart. In here, positive, negative. And on the batteries, negative, positive. So let's go ahead and put these in there. Positive to positive, negative to negative. And I found it's easier if you take this hook side and put it on the pistol first. Just gotta line this bad boy up. There we go. And let's flip them over, do this. Actually, let me try this again. Let's do this so we can get that clip in there because it has that hook. So we got them in there. Everything's good to go. Let's just tighten up our screws. Let me make sure this guy is working properly. Okay, yep, the green light's coming on. Uh, so that's like an indicator that it it's, should be good to go. Let's uh, see if we can test it here. Hmm, not sure if it's got a good connection in there. Let's try this again. So we got positive, negative, slip them in there. Okay, yep, that looks a little bit better. Yep, laser's wanting to come on. So let me tighten this up, make sure this is good to go. So this is just a real quick tip, I guess, is to use a flat head on these. And these three screws is how you get it off the pistol. Uh, you are not able to get it off any other way. Okay, yeah, tighten these up. Yeah, I figured that would tighten up the connection on the batteries. Let's just do that some more. Get that guy. And one more. And this is a cool little single stack. I might do a review, but there's so many out on this already. Everybody knows it's proven. Um, I did take it out shooting compared to the Glock 43. Maybe I'll do a little comparison video and let you guys know what my thoughts were with it compared to the 43. Um, and so the laser is working now. Yep, that guy is working both... Um, both, both pulse and, and constant on that guy. So, excellent little little guy. I wanted to also point out that this thing right here, this little, little indicator as well, that guy is actually a sensor that's made for certain holsters uh, that have a sensor in them as well for this R5. And the way it works is it'll automatically turn on when you pull it out of the holster and it'll automatically turn off when you put it in. So very cool idea. I don't think there's too many holster companies making that. I've only heard of one and I forgot their name, but 
very cool option anyways so yeah we're good to go got that guy done hope this helped you out if you ran into any issues uh trying to replace batteries on this guy thanks for tuning in again guys and like subscribe and share for more and once again happy new year